is like Jack 20! And what am I doing today? I am playing the most inappropriate game to be played with such an outgoing, over-eager, yet optimistic attitude like my own. This is Limbo. This is kind of semi a test of my capabilities of recording an Xbox 360 game. And also to kind of stall for time while I get everything about Kingdom Hearts 2 all set aside and, you know, fixed up. So, there it is. Check out these cool little settings. We got a uh, nice settings here. We got a uh, volume, brightness. Uh, I'm gonna increase it up just a tad bit. Gore. Nah, I don't want the gore filter off. We gotta get that on. We gotta get the, the most hardcore experience ever with Limbo! Because whenever I think of hardcore gaming, I think of Limbo. Yeah, very different type of platforming game released on the arcade. Long time back, though. When pretty good. Won a pretty good amount of awards, though, I'll say. Nice thing, uh, do I have to... Oh, wait. Pushing the button did something. Uh, can I get up? There we go. Sheesh. So I'm gonna see what there is to do in this little world here, because... Not a whole lot to be done. Um, let's see, I can look around. I, oh, I can go left. Let's check what's over to the left. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, okay, so go to the right then. Yes, and don't worry, if any of you are watching YouTube, don't worry, your screens are your screens are not messing up. The game is actually just this dark and monotoned. Monochromatic, you might say. Okay. Let's see. So just a simple running. Uh, I should be able to jump, shouldn't I? Oh yes, I can! And I can slide! And uh, oh, I do know how to fall down there. So I'm gonna jump right over that. Those things do not look friendly. I shall continue moving. Oh my gosh, there actually has some architecture here. Uh, let's see, if I hold the X... Oh, if I push the X button, I can grab onto things. Stupid rope, I can't freaking... Okay, I'll parkour my way up here. And I guess we'll just slide on down here. So I can climb down ropes. Oh! Okay, let's be careful with that next time. Don't want anything really bad happening. I'm just kind of looking around the place and... Rather bleak. Not a lot of music and uh Ooh a boat Away Well this is rather lovely. Glad I got on this boat. Don't have to run around for a while, I can just uh look at the world around me. I cannot tell if that's a pyramid or grayish Pokemon behind me is so oh my gosh I cannot see anything. Got reeds. Oh, thank goodness, a noise. I thought the volume had, gone, had been muted. Okay, let's pull this up. Don't want to be leaving in the water, otherwise we could just, you know, stray away, and I don't want that happening. Okay, up you go. And, uh, ooh, I can climb this wall. i best be able to jump to that, otherwise this is going to be... Oh my gosh, yes, I am freaking Jungle King. So I'm starting to get the, I'm starting to get the controls of this game. It's, got, it's coming back to me. Again. Not a whole lot to look at, it's just forest, swamp, another forest, all the same color. Really giving me that, you know, that mood of darkness and these things look pointy. I don't think I want to touch these. I'm going to just drag you over here, over yonder. And oh, awesome, made it. Okay. Yes, these things do not look very friendly at all. Let's time this carefully. Oh, just barely made that. Awesome. Yes, do not want to... It's it's kind of difficult at first to tell what is good and what is not. Especially when it's all the same shade of black. But, I can already tell that does not look very healthy. Uh, can I climb the... Dang it. The dang of dead animal or whatever is weighing it down. I can't jump up there. Wait. Idea forming. Let me, uh, hang on. Just a smidge into the right. That'll do it. Okay, now jump and climb up quickly, and there you have it, parkour physics in motion. Okay, let's just see what other little, and trust me, that, that is about as easy as the puzzles are going to get in this game. That is as easy as they will get. Let's continue looking around the place. A big fall, I don't want that to happen, so I'll just uh, climb this log, and uh, oh my gosh, there's a giant hairy boulder! 
And that's about as exciting as this game. No, it gets it gets better. And I see a little bit of excitement for once. It's been running around and oh oh good. I thought the ground was spiky. Again, hard to tell with this with these shadows. My goodness. Oh my gosh, there's actually some trees here that I can actually use. I see a little rope, but I can't reach it. I'm gonna have to come back to that and uh Okay, I think it should be worth noting that any water that has some black sludge at the bottom is probably not safe for me to jump into, you know, dive right in. So I'm going to try and avoid that for the time being. Let's see if I can use this box to head up. Oh, oh my gosh, I can swing by moving left to right. Thank goodness for that. Parkour, parkour. Man, for someone who literally just woke up from a huge nap, this boy is actually quite athletic and agile for someone his age. Now we'll just hop over here, jump up here, and I think I see a little vine hiding by the shrubbery over there. I'm first going to push over this bad boy. That'll come in handy later. Oh, yes, I made this. Okay. Now we just swing. Ah, oh, nuts. Missed it. Okay, I'm going to try that again. I know you can make it up here. Now, in this game, th those little white things, like that little white egg I smushed in the very beginning... There are like very there are several secret ones of them in this game. This one I'm trying to go for right now is one of them. Dang it! I know you can do this. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time. This time I'm gonna swing as high as I can possibly manage, and only then I'll actually climb up a little bit on the vine. I'll climb up a little bit, and then I'll start swinging. Hard to tell what I'm doing since I'm hiding by these branches. That's more like it. Done. I would have gone achievement there. Would have shown it, but I've already gotten the achievement and. I'm a noob in the fact that I do not know how to... Oh my gosh, I can't believe I survived that fall. I do not know how to turn off achievements so that they show up again, you know, besides making a whole new profile for nothing but Let's Play, but I don't have time for that. Now, I push this log. This should make a suitable platform. Crap. Push it in a little bit more. So says, if you haven't already looked at the at the little timeline of this video, this, little, this series is going to be a little bit shorter than the other ones I've been doing. Because this, this is, if anything, the closest thing to a side let's play I got at the moment. You know, compared to Metroid Prime here and Mario Party there. But the only reason this is going up is, ooh, a little bear trap thing up there. Let's keep that in mind. They never really put something there unless they know you're going to be using it later. Very minimalistic this game is. They only give you exactly what you need. Oh, hello there. Oh my god! Sheesh, I was going to say hello because I actually saw something that actually looked living. Um, hang on. Could, could you do the thing again? You know, the thing where you, like, slam the ground very hard with a lot of force? Ooh. Ah, the plan and the pieces are coming together. Hey, hey, do it a couple more times. I, I really like that thing we're doing. You almost try and kill me? Like that? Awesome. I now have a weapon of mass destruction. At least in this world so far. Seriously, it's just one hit and you're dead. So you have to be very careful about what happens in this world of limbo. Just right. Pull back! Try it again, smart guy. What's your next move, hot shot? Oh, you're gonna try it again? Yeah, because that's smart. Okay. Make sure after you take out the, the first two, you get away, because that third one's gonna come out immediately. Not even give you time to wait. Then you can go in and do it a final time. Oh man, our bear trap broke. Uh. Well, it looks like he's gone. Ha! Huh. Sure, show sure. that spider giant beast thingy. Won't have to worry about him for a while. I'll just head on down here. Jeez, I didn't know to see that guy again. It's getting pretty dark though. Luckily, our guy, little friend here in limbo, has serious headlights. That helps a bit. Uh-oh. A little sticky. Ah! Stuck! Oh, well, this isn't too big a problem. I just need to let myself jump up a couple times. Maybe I'll be able to uh, loosen my way. I just need to inch my f foot out of my shoe here, and I should be able to get out. And, uh... Oh! Oh! Hello there, Mr. Spider Beast. Uh, thank you for getting me out of this predicament. Uh, if you could just have me just put me back on the path, then I could... No, no, this is not the path. No, 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 Mm. 
Oh, okay. I got my mouth loose. This is good. I'm gonna head off now. I cannot see where the heck I'm going, but I'm gonna head off anyway. Because I think at this point I might as well just roleplay. Work with it. I'm free! I'm hopping free and no thing can stop me now! And I shall jump! Oh, I made it. And I shall keep going, because at this point I'm just cycling between roleplaying and cycling between my actual let's playing self. So everyone's going, what the heck is he doing now? I'm jumping! Because I almost died there, that would not be good. Oh, I feel something. Uh, just get you out of the way. There you go. What's that noise? Ooh, a nice little bridge. Good thing I stepped back, that would have been bad. Okay, I gotta get out of this, all this web off me. This is ridiculous. Oh, oh, best keep moving back. This thing seems to be rolling. I mean, serious. I mean, so far they've just been little minor inconveniences. I mean, it'd be a real problem if we had any real, like, danger to be involved with this. I mean, here I am just kind of hopping about on a giant ball. Probably don't want to fall off it because then I get crushed by it. I mean, that would be the least of my worries there. And for starters, I'd have to worry about trying to get this stuff out of my hair and off my skin. I mean, it's really just a major inconvenience for this whole trip. I gotta figure a way to get rid of it. Anyone else hear anything crawling? I better just get out of the way. Don't have to worry about it. Oof! Ugh. Well, at least it got off my face. That hill is actually rather efficient at cleaning off all that gunk. I'll have to thank you for it later one day when I'm not running away from any mysterious creatures. Oh my gosh, it's another person! Uh, excuse me, would you happen to have noticed a giant spider beast around here? I'm trying to avoid it as quickly as I can, so if you could just tell me that- Huh. Not one, not one for small talk, I see. Alright. Let's just climb up and- OH MY- Okay, someone does not want me here, because I have no idea why else you would put a bear trap right there. Got some freaking anti-social jerks here is our problem. I guess I'll just climb up in these little trees. Looks like someone clear cut the area. Wonder what they're using all the wood for. I can't think of anything. Oof. Except for a. Uh, oh my gosh, those are spikes! Man, you just gotta be on your toes this whole time and. Oh, that's another spike! Sheesh! What else are they gonna throw at me? Giant. Of giant rocks! They'll throw giant rocks at me, apparently. They'll throw whatever they think they can get away with at me. Fantastic. Sheesh. I've only just woken up in this world. Why does the whole world have to be cruel to me? I've done nothing wrong. What the heck is that? Look at you. You're nothing but a fake. And oof. Oh my goodness. Oh. That still would probably hurt if I got stabbed by it. Wait a minute. Yeah, I see the freaking strings. X up, bub. Ooh, this is actually rather humorous. This is entertaining. I can see why you guys like that. Alright. Forget it. Why is everyone wanting to kill me? I have many uh, I have many skills to offer in this world of limbo. I have the ability to run for my life when I see anything that looks really terrifying and really hazardous to my health! Thank god there's a random pool of water here. And now you lit the for place on fire. It not look like it rains very often here. You could you could end up torching your entire wooden your wooden village. And where would we be then? Jeez, those guys look no older than my age. I mean, I haven't seen any really adult males, and they look kind of like my age. And for some reason, this is reminding me of Lord of the Flies and other such literature that I care to not remember since I'm playing a video game. The exact opposite of what I'd like to know right now. What type of doohickey is this thing? I don't know, but that trap looks really suspicious. I don't think I want to... Well, it looks like I just need to dodge that first one, then we should be behind. Oh crap, there's a second one! Well, thank goodness I can be reincarnated, otherwise we'd be in real serious trouble then. Yeah, you best run. Got the freaking abilities of reincarnation on my side. Okay, wait. Okay. Luckily I figured that out, otherwise that would've been in real trouble. Okay. Now, I do believe I saw one of those doofuses jump up this, uh, go up that treehouse over there. So if I can quickly get over there, I can probably question him for questions. 
Question for questions. That is just the most redundant line of conversation that could ever be held, couldn't it? I mean, I see a little tire swing over there. So yeah, these are probably just kids. Just trying to kill kids. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Why would you want to do that? What's that? I hear something. Oh, crap. It's the spider demon again. Spider demon. I don't want to deal with the spider demon. Okay. Run, 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 run. But then look like they'd like the other kids' traps very much. Maybe they, maybe they were meant for the spider demon. Oh, crap. I'm trapped. Well, I'm screwed.